Good morning and welcome to Sunday School. The Lord be with you and also with you. So let's sing our Be Still song and get ready to hear God's story this morning. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Okay, so it's time for our story. Today's story takes place at the Sea of Galilee. So many important things happened at the sea that we just have to have a small piece of it to tell our story. The sea is a wonderful and strange place. When the wind blows, the water rises up and is wavy and dangerous. And when the wind is calm, the sea is peaceful and still. Many people live by the sea. The poor, the sick, and children. Andrew and Peter lived by the sea. They were fishermen, as were James and John. There was also a man who lived by the sea who had an unclean spirit. Unclean spirits say and do things that people do not like. Also by the sea, there was a synagogue in Capernaum. The synagogue is a special place where people come to worship God and to learn about the 10 best ways to live. At the synagogue, there were scribes. Now, scribes are rulers and teachers who work in the synagogue. Someone came to the Sea of Galilee who said and did such wonderful things that people began to follow him. He came close to the sick he encouraged the poor, and he enjoyed the children. And he said, this is the way that we should treat each other. This is the way to the kingdom of God. But the people did not understand. So he said, follow me. I will show you the way to the kingdom of God. And so he went to the synagogue. He began teaching, and the people said, this is amazing. This is a new way, and he teaches with such authority, not like the scribes. Now, the man with the unclean spirit started to speak and say, what are you doing here? Are you here to destroy us? I know who you are. You are the Christ. And Jesus went to the man and said, be still, come out of him. And the man began to shake, and the unclean spirit left his body. And everyone was amazed. What is this? This is a new teaching. Even evil spirits listen. I wonder what it felt like to be the man with the unclean spirit. I wonder how good it felt when the unclean spirit left his body. I wonder 
what the fishermen thought when they saw all of these, this happen. I wonder what the sick and the poor and the children thought. And most of all, I wonder what the scribes of the synagogue thought of all of this. So now it be, would be a good time for you to take out some coloring things or something to build and think about this story and maybe draw a picture about it. And then when you're finished with that, we'll come back and we will read this story out of the Bible and have our feast and some prayer time. So we'll see you in a couple of minutes. Welcome back. I hope you had a good response time. So now it's time to light the Christ candle. Do we remember why we light the Christ candle? It's so we remember that God is with us, especially when we read from his word. So today's story, like all of our stories, is found in the Holy Bible. And today's story is in a book called Mark. And it's in chapter 1, starting at verse 21. Jesus and his followers went to Capernaum. On the Sabbath day, Jesus went to the synagogue and he began to teach. The people there were amazed at his teaching. He did not teach like their teachers of the law. He taught like a person who had authority. While he was in the synagogue, a man was there who had an unclean spirit in him. And the man shouted, Jesus of Nazareth, what do you want with us? Do you come to destroy us? I know who you are, God's holy one. And Jesus said strongly, be quiet, come out of the man. And the evil spirit made the man shake violently. Then the spirit gave out a loud cry and came out of him. The people were amazed and they asked each other, what is happening here? This man is teaching something new and he teaches with authority. He even gives commands to evil spirits and they obey him. And the news about Jesus spread quickly everywhere in the area of Galilee. So let's have our prayer time now. Let's bow our heads. <coughs> Jesus, thank you for your teaching. Thank you that you have authority to even remove evil spirits. And Lord, we just pray that we would continue to learn about you and build our relationships with you. Lord, we pray that you would keep everyone safe at this time and that you would bless all of the children in their homes and in their schools and with their friends. And we pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So now it's time to change the light. And this reminds us that God is not just with us in one place, but everywhere we go. Now it's time to enjoy our feast. So hopefully you've got a little feast to enjoy. And if you have a napkin or something like that, you can make yourself a little table. Have something to drink and a little snack. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Let's enjoy our feast. Well, while you enjoy your feast, I'll give you your blessing and you can go and spend some time with your family. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.